everybody, it's Denise Evans, your neighborhood realtor, and we are out and about. And today we are at the Legacy Park, which is the new park where the Plain Township Amphitheater is located. And it's at the corner of Middle Branch and East End Roads. And I'm here with Rob Steinberg, who's the Plain Township Parks Director. So thank you for inviting us in today. Thanks for coming over and seeing what we have to offer. Tell us about the grand opening date. Grand opening will be uh, Thursday, August 10th. We're having the North American Foremost Chicago Tribute Band coming to town with a nine-piece horn section, or it'll be Brass Transit. Uh, doors will open about five o'clock. Show will start just after seven. They're gonna play a really strong 90-minute show. Um, should be exciting. We look forward to having everybody come in and see what we've been doing over the last year and a half. Everybody's so excited for this to happen. So some frequently asked questions that people have talked about. Who paid for the amphitheater? Where'd you get the money? The amphitheater was paid for by ARPA funding. ARPA funding is American Rescue Plan funding allocated through the federal government and funneled through the state and local jurisdictions to help businesses bounce back from the pandemic. So when we presented our cause to build an amphitheater to help the business behind us bounce back and thrive from the pandemic, increase foot traffic for the plaza, um, increase and create green space for the community. Obviously, as you said, it was a park. It was a hand in glove fit. So our, our $3.1 million in, in, in ARPA funding that was allocated to the construction of this is not levy taxpayer dollars. Um, but to be clear, because it's federally funded, those tax dollars come from somewhere. So no cost to the Plain Township taxpayer. That is correct. Directly. That is correct. And so what does it cost to attend events here? Our events are free so long as we can cover them with sponsorship. Uh, we've been doing great so far. All three of our August shows are covered. Um, we're continuing and, and always soliciting for sponsorship and for partners to offer you the best type of entertainment possible on Thursday nights. Uh, we're looking at doing roughly two shows a month um, so that we can offer really quality entertainment, make it be affordable, have people come out, bring their lawn chairs, sit out on the lawn, uh, frequent the businesses, grab a pizza from Giannino's, grab your favorite adult beverage if you're going to utilize the Dora, come over, sit in the park, watch the show, enjoy the fire pits or the Adirondack chairs in the back, have the kids play on the playground. We have a full flush restroom facility on site built as part of the project that will be open year round, 365 days a year as we are a park open to the public. So tell us about parking. How are you going to handle that? Parking, immediately speaking, we'll have 400 plus spaces in the uh, plaza directly behind the amphitheater. Um, we're going to have about 57 spaces for handicap and sponsors and VIPs at Township Hall. And we have just purchased a newly acquired property next to 2855 Easton, which is the old fire station. We're going to hold about 230 cars inside that space on the lawn and we'll overflow into the current Yardway site um, with another 100, 120 cars. So we feel like we've got that handled pretty well. Great. So if somebody's attending events, we need to bring our lawn chairs, right? Bring your lawn chairs, bring a towel, sit on the lawn, sit back on some of the elevated seating, sit, sit at the Adirondack chairs. There's all sorts of places you can, you can utilize the space. And um, I know that you want to support the plaza vendors here as far as food items too, but if I just want to bring a little picnic basket along too, is that all right? We don't allow coolers because they take up space. Um, and because of the door program that we have here, you have to buy an adult beverage, an alcoholic beverage from one of the registered establishments back here and keep it within the zone. So we can't bring alcohol from outside. We also can't take it from within outside the boundaries. So um, based on the statute that allows us to have the door, we can't do that. So what about weather? Weather, we are, we are a, a rain or shine event. We, we hope to um, outlast any weather that might be temporary if for some reason we'd have to cancel. Um, you can check our website and our social media. Um, the website we would ask you to go to is plaintownshipamphitheater.com, all spelled out. We'll put notifications out on Nixle. If you haven't signed up for Nixle, go to the website, click the link, sign up for Nixle. It'll give you text messages in real time of, of weather delays and cancellations. We'll clearly make announcements on site and we'll push it out to all those platforms that we have. We also have um, contracted to put an electronic sign out on Easton just in front of the hall so we can make those announcements there as well. So what times other than the amphitheater um, events will the park be open? The park is open daily. We open 
dawn, we close at dusk. The restroom will open roughly 6A and close at roughly 10P, which is an hour later than the other three parks just to accommodate for the business because at the end of the day, we want folks if they choose to buy a meal from the businesses, come over, sit out around the patio, have, have a meal around the fire pits, let the children play on the playground and enjoy the space. So we are a park, we're open daily. Once August 10th hit, this park will be open on a daily basis. Well, thank you to Plain Township for making this happen. We're all excited and everybody be sure to come out and enjoy the new park in the amphitheater. Thanks to our board for making it happen. Everybody have a great day.